Cobrar el match en eh, USMLD, o sea, después que pasamos los exámenes, es un poco difícil, es uno de los pasos más difíciles. Eh, hoy invité a la doctora Tancina eh, a Frost, que ya está en segundo año de Internal Medicine de la residencia, casi terminando ya su residencia, y ella les va a traer su, uh, sus uh, recomendaciones y consejos sobre qué hacer para poder match. ¿Ok? Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm Tanzina Afros. I'm a second year internal medicine resident at Texas Tech Amarillo. And Dr. Adrian asked me to discuss a little bit about uh, what it takes to match. So um, I can tell you from my experience, uh, what worked for me would be uh, getting a good score. That's uh, definitely important. We know that step one has become pass fail these days. Um, so a lot of um, emphasis would be on step two score these days. And I see um, scores, uh, the mean has been very high recently, like people are getting 250s, 260s. So your goal should be to getting a good score, obviously passing uh, those exam in your first attempt. Now that we don't have step to see us, but we have another English exam, OET exam, so doing good on those exams should be beneficial. I personally didn't take OET, so I cannot really speak for that. I took step to see us. Uh, so your first target would be to getting those, getting a good score and passing those exam in our first attempt if you can. But it's not the end of the world if you're not getting like your desired score. There's always uh, ways you can enhance your CV um, and um, these days program kind of look for in a holistic approach like what you have done so far, not just your score that doesn't really define you as a uh, physician or as an applicant. Um, and also your goal should be if you can, I know different people have different life situation or different people start their journey for you in a different time. So if you can finish it within your five years of graduation, that's always very beneficial. I personally couldn't do it, unfortunately. I came here after my graduation, so it's been already uh, several years that I have spent uh, back home, and then I came here. Um, so, But if somebody is listening to this today and they are in a medical school, they want to do it, I would encourage to kind of thinking about it from now on so you can finish it within five years of your graduation. That definitely increases your chance of getting into residency. Other than that, uh, when we come as a graduate, to this country, it's become difficult to get clinical experience, which is very important to have it. Sometimes if you're in the student, uh, they can come for externship, like hands-on clinical experience. I have seen different Indian students coming here and doing like hands-on clinical experience. If you can get it done uh, during your medical school or immediately after graduation, that can be beneficial as well. But when we come as a graduate here, our opportunities are a little bit limited, but I don't think it's, it's like you cannot get it at all, but you can get it. Uh, so, but it will be more to like an observership. So you might not have very hands-on experience, but you can always follow along with the doctor and that can give you experience. You can add it to your CV and you can also get good letter of recommendation. If you're showing interest, they like you. And sometimes that also helps you to get an interview as well, being a uh, connection, which is very beneficial. In addition to that, so you'll score your year of graduation um, and then your clinical experience. And then comes your research experience. So these days, I believe, at least what I have seen, I'm from Bangladesh, other Bangladeshi candidates, um, that they are trying to get publication, research experience to really enhance their CV. And I understand these days in ERAS application, you can only add a limited number of experience. So you have to think about what experience will be meaningful, what experience will make your CV more competitive than other. So there are several ways you can do it. Uh, one could some research. So research experience would be a good, uh, good um, point to add in your CV. So some of them can be voluntary work. You might not get paid job. Uh, so you can um, re apply, reach out to different, like principal investigator in different university hospital and like sending email uh, and then see if there's any, you can work voluntarily any research project with them. You can probably, um, start with a very limited role like gathering data, but eventually you might get an opportunity to present or write a case report or write a uh, literature review or write a uh, study uh, with your principal investigator. So those can be very beneficial. Now I can tell you my experience. So I lived in Seattle for a while. Um, so at University of Washington, I reached out to a cardiologist in, via email and also a friend was working uh, there helping me to get in touch with him. So in that way, I did uh, like one year of research before my application. 
and I was also able to present some abstract in different conferences as well. So those things help. So it shows that you are you have some extra skill, you have some extra qualities to offer when you are uh, the residency program is looking for a candidate. Um, you can also get a job in research if somebody has a like work permit, they can also work as a research assistant. So that would be more like an administrative job. I'm not sure if you will be able to get published that much, but that also give you, gives you uh, some research related, work related experience. You get paid and also you can add it to your CV and you can um, talk about it. This experience is important and you can also build connection. Maybe working with a physician who can help you to get an interview or get, get observership. So everything helps, this little thing helps. And also you can work as a research coordinator. In that case, um, you might need some certification. I haven't done it, so I cannot really give you much information, but research coordinator is another job that you can do that could be beneficial for your CV, you can add you some experience and can help you to get into a residency as well. And other medical related job can be done as well, like medical assistant, which is a very good experience. Um, you will work with closely with the physician, nurses, will know the dynamic of the like you know workplace in the medical field and also you, you will talk to the patient that will improve your communication skill you'll feel more confident to talk about it even when you become physician you'll be more natural to talk to the patient so those experience really helps and i think program uh, kind of value those experiences very much i personally did a certified nursing assistant course and work with a uh, like a as a assistant of the nurse um, in uh, in a hospital so that was a my only inpatient like hands-on experience with the patient and i think that really helped me especially with my step to cs and um, also during my interview all the interviewer asked about it like what was your experience and they really appreciated that something i tried that was different so those are the things you can work on um now i 